What's up guys, Andrew here with a video about the Opera GX browser. I've been using this browser for a couple of weeks now and I'm really, really digging the features, especially the fact that it gives you the opportunity or the ability uh, to uh, restrict the browser from taking up all of your memory. And I know that uh, Chrome uh, is a, a super memory hog. So when a browser comes along, it gives you the opportunity to uh, control uh, or, or limit the resources that it's using uh, for the entire system. And you can couple that next to OBS or any other program that you're running, whether that's Steam or, or any other uh, application that you're running on the system. When a browser comes along and gives you the opportunity to do that, uh, I think it's something worth mentioning. So this is the Opera GX browser. It is not a gaming browser, but it is very, very appealing to the gamers because if you're running a lot of uh, games on your system and you can limit uh, what the browser does in terms of the CPU, the RAM, and every other thing that it, it would it would uh, attempt uh, to uh, take away, uh, whether that's the network uh, speed or the CPU speed or the RAM speed. I like the fact that this browser has the ability to uh, give you control over those things. So uh, Opera GX browser, uh, loving it. It's the only browser that I'm running right now. It is based on the Chromium uh, browser, so uh, you will have uh, similar features like a Brave or uh, Canary Google or a regular Google Chrome browser, so you'll see uh, the similarities to those. So uh, uh, definitely check out. I'm going to run through uh, some of the things about the browser that I really like, uh, including the fact that it has a VPN uh, that you can activate or, or not activate depending on uh, what you're using the browser for, but it is really, really good. So uh, check out this, uh, not necessarily a review. Uh, but some features that I really like about it. Uh, check this out. Hey, what's up, guys? I want to show you the Opera GX browser. I've been having a lot of fun with this browser. I've been using Opera GX uh, fourth quarter of 2019, heading into 2020, and here we are. I definitely want to share some features with you. Uh, the main feature I want to talk about is the fact that it has uh, GX control. GX control, as I'll go over here, uh, allows you to do the network limiter, RAM limiter, and also the CPU limiter. So I love the fact that this particular browser has these features. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm not running a, a super amazing build here as far as PC is concerned, which I'll, I'll come back to uh, this uh, GX browser in a second. My machine is a X980, uh, 24 gigs of RAM, nothing crazy, nothing major, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, what, what I realize we're not necessarily looking for a gaming browser, right? We're looking for a browser that uh, is not going to hog all of our memory as we're running an application uh, simultaneously with it, right? Uh, so Chrome does that. Uh, Chrome is a super hog, as, as you know. And because of that, we need a solution for that. So this is a Chromium-based browser. Uh, so all the features that you'll find in Google Chrome, you'll find in this particular browser. Uh, so essentially, that is the main reason why I'm using this browser. I can limit my processing here. So as you can see, I'm going to raise this up here or I can just limit it to 17% or I can turn it off, right? So I can do that. For the RAM limiter, uh, I have uh, 24 gigs of RAM uh, in total. So I can limit the browser to only use six and be okay with that, right? Uh, for the network, network, I'm um, I don't necessarily need to limit the network because my upload is about 34, right? For the upload. So I've, I've put somewhere between five and 40. I think that's good. But if I wanted to go lower, I could, right? If I wanted to do three megabytes at 24, I could do that. Uh, five megabytes at 40. Let's just leave it there. Or I could turn it off. So I like the fact that this browser, uh, this uh, Opera GX browser, I didn't even know it existed until recently, offers you the ability, uh, the opportunity and the ability to do this, right? So then a couple of things that I want to show you around as far as the browser is concerned. If you wanted to set it up, uh, you know, the way you'd want to, you can do uh, color schemes. Uh, I think it started with like a, like a, a red uh, color. I decided to go with the wizard gray. Uh, wallpapers you can mess around with if you wanted wallpapers. Uh, animations. You can do that, uh, sliding out, hover, craft, animation, different things like that. Appearance, you can show the bookmark bar. Uh, you can show news, uh, sidebar stuff. You can you can definitely show 
Uh, what else do you have? My flow, which I like. So my flow gives me the ability and opportunity to text myself, right? So once you install the uh, Opera Touch application, you can come here and say, you know what? Uh, while I'm doing this review, I want to make sure I mention uh, settings, as you see, I've already written or extensions uh, that I use that I use on a regular basis, right? So I can send a text to myself. So this also hits my phone. Uh, so I know that or I can say, hey, uh, let me put this link here for a YouTube video that I want to watch. I want to make sure I watch it at a particular time or day uh, to uh, be efficient in my process and the things that I'm doing. So you can do that. So my flow is great uh, for uh, the things that you're doing and things that you're working on. So you have that. Uh, you also have the the extension bar here where you can add uh, the Facebook messengers, the WhatsApp, or you can add additional ones, right? Uh, you can add the bookmarks, personal news tabs, history. You can add all these things on the sidebar if you wanted to. So let's go back on the right side real quick. See if I missed anything here. So I stopped here at MyFlow. Also, this has a built-in VPN. Uh, some individuals aren't necessarily fan of the VPN uh, feature that's built into the browser. Uh, but if you have, um, if you don't have one to use, I use one called Pro XPN. I'll have links in that uh, in the show notes. So you can definitely check out Pro XPN, which is the main one that I use because I'm not using the VPN that is attached to Opera GX. That's just my preference. Um, and that's how I have it set up. So a VPN features, block ads built in. Uh, block trackers that's built in vpn is built in right uh downloads wherever you decide to put your downloads uh import uh password and bookmarks uh browsing uh, clear the browsing data and things like that right so that is on this side so let me just uh, click off of here now on that side you have uh, the gx corner for news and different things like that specific gaming news whether that's windows ps xbox switch mac or linux Depending on what's coming out for that week or month, you can check out the news for that, which it gives you all that data, which is great. That's built in. Again, this is not a gaming browser. This is a browser that allows you to limit the resources for the network, for the RAM, for the CPU. And that could be anybody. Anybody can use this browser for, for this particular feature, right? Uh, so over here, you have uh, the standard things. Uh, let me mention, okay, snapshot. Let me mention snapshot real quick. So snapshot is built in, so you don't have to uh, do an external uh, cropping tool or, or picture tool. So that's built in uh, to do that. I use Greenshot from the desktop, but I don't have to. Uh, so if you want to use the one built in, you can use that. So that, that's there for you. Just go back in here real quick. Uh, so settings, uh, snapshot. What else we have? Uh, so let's go to settings here real quick. Pull that up. Okay, so we have uh, advanced settings uh, for privacy. Uh, you have the GX color things that we mentioned uh, on the right side. Uh, the splash at the startup. Twitch, you can add Twitch as an extension on the side if you wanted to do that. You can do that as well. Uh, the wallpapers, the appearance, uh, quick access, uh, synchronization. Uh, and this is my default browser. This is the only browser that I'm using right now uh, because of the, just the feature of the GX control, right? That is really the main reason I'm using it. So I could run, I could run a, a program like OBS, uh, which OBS I'm running at a high priority in the advanced setup. I'm running simple setup at 5,000 kilobytes. Uh, I'm running uh, the uh, quality uh, encoder. I'm running uh, 160 kilobytes per second for the audio. So th th I think those are my main uh, current uh, OBS settings right now. So I want to give you that as well. Uh, let me just look at my flow to make sure I'm giving you everything I wanted to give you in this video. Extensions. So let's talk about extensions real quick. Uh, since we talked about the main feature, I wanted to get that out of the way, which is the network limiter, the RAM limiter, and the CPU limiter uh, for Opera GX. I didn't even know this browser existed until uh, fourth quarter of 2019. So I want to share that with you. So let's go to extensions. So for me, uh, main extensions that I must have, uh, LastPass is definitely one of them. Ublock Origin I use, okay? And this particular extension for Opera is great. So if you haven't used Opera at all, if you haven't used Opera in a long time, and you're concerned about, well, what about my Chrome extensions? Can I use that for the Opera GX browser? Yes, you can. 
because there's an extension in the Opera library that allows you to install Chrome extensions interchangeably, right? So I use this little uh, program here that allows me to do that. Okay, so I added that to Opera. Also, I use uh, Better TTV. I use Buffer, which is amazing. Uh, Magic Actions for YouTube, that's great. Uh, I have Amazon Assistant, and I also have VidIQ, and you can also use TubeBuddy depending on your aspirations for YouTube uh, creating uh, content on, on that particular platform. So I think that's pretty much it. So I definitely wanted to show you guys that uh, Opera GX is a great browser to use. It is definitely uh, a big player uh, in the browser field. It's running uh, the Chromium based uh, that we're used to, whether we're running Brave or the Chrome browser or Canary or any of those browsers along those lines, you'll, you'll see the features very similar to that. And it has uh, a lot of pro productivity things that will benefit you as an individual who's looking to limit their resources uh, as they're running other applications. So I'll be running. So for, for testing, I've done where I've, I've ran the, the Opera GX browser, my Steam application running, my OBS is running, and the, the game application is running, and I've had no issues at all. Uh, doing things like that as I'm operating the Opera GX browser. So that's pretty much it. Wanted to share that data with you. I've had this on my mind uh, to share with you. So hopefully you guys can check out the Opera uh, GX browser. We'd love to hear what you think about it and how you're using it and what games or, or applications you're running alongside of it. That'd be great information to have. Uh, definitely comment on that below and I'll add some links that I believe that you guys can uh, take advantage of in the description as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.